Many a childhood memory harks back to long days playing outdoors. Adventures at every turn. Running through woodland and scrambling up trees without a care in the world. And just maybe you were lucky enough to have a tree house. The tree houses I remember were pretty basic affairs. Tucked away out of sight in the woods, a place with a rope swing and somewhere to make a mean mud pie. But this model is anything but child's play. There's cosy heating, a fully fitted kitchen, electricity at the flick of a switch. And not forgetting... It's 20 feet off the ground! It's a novelty for sure, but could you really live here? Simon Parfit thinks so. He's a man on a mission to get us living in trees. Hi, Ellie. How are you doing? All right, good to meet you. Simon is an architect who specialises in eco-builds. What's the appeal of tree houses for adults? Oh, my goodness. Um, it's, it's the sense of wonderment, the sense of adventure, being a little boy again. I mean, I grew up... I was lucky enough to grow up in the Peak Trust. I'm a real country boy. Uh-huh. Um, basically, I spent my entire time building dens, building tree houses. It's an incredible spot here, lots and lots of trees around. And this is the sort of the main tree with the house. Does it damage the tree? No, no, I mean, it's really important to us. This, this is what it's all about. Um, a lot of thought and design goes into making sure these trees are not damaged in any way. And the principal thing for us is we don't attach to the tree. We, we stilt the building around the tree. I've had a little look round your tree house already. Have but you? I feel like I could do with the guided tour and you can convince me of tree houses for adults. Come on, then. let's right. go and have a look. Simon's big on recycling. He uses reclaimed materials to create these bespoke features. Even, even for example, the doors and windows in here are uh, bought secondhand off the internet from a house that was going to be crushed up. And I was like, well, they're great windows. Let's put them in something. The ultimate in recycling, yeah. that, isn't it? Even so, these tree houses aren't cheap. Prices start at a cool 150 grand, and you've got to provide the land. This place is absolutely incredible, but isn't it just a plaything for rich people? Well, it, well, I mean, it is a plaything. That's that's the whole point. It's it's uh, to bring people here to get them experiencing living closer to nature, high up in the canopy, where you get a different experience, um, and to get them engaged with this kind of small space. How you can live differently. How you can use materials differently. It takes around four months to build one of these tree houses for grown-ups. I'm heading to Simon's workshop in the little town of Bruton, where the adventure begins. Whilst it's hands-on in the yard, inside, Simon uses the very latest high-tech software to finish the job. This is a good way to show you, because I've got a physical model of it on the computer. So we're standing in this, in the main compartment and we have the main way up through tri-folding doors. We've just come off the deck behind us. Behind the kitchen is a little bathroom and stairs climbing up to a separate, again, piece of the treehouse which goes up and under a branch which has got a bedroom and a bath in it. What's your ambition for the treehouses in the future? Do you hope that more people will be living in treehouses? I think it's, it's nice to give people a chance to experience this kind of space. It's not just simply about living in a treehouse, it's about living in a small space, using the space differently, utilising natural materials. That's where my realistic ambition is. And do you ever reflect on the fact that you were a child making dens, making treehouses, and here you are all these years on making professional treehouses? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it does make a lot of sense. It's like the, the university of life perhaps could have dispensed with a few years at university. <laughs> Actual university, yeah. it prepared you well. <laughs> If you think about it, we all have a connection to the trees. It goes way back to our ancestors. Maybe Simon is unlocking our deep-rooted connection to the canopy. And maybe the children were onto something all along.